Friends in this video, I will show you how to install Tiny11 on Mac. Tiny11, as its name suggests, is a lightweight edition of the latest Windows 11 operating system. It's a personal project being started and maintained by NTDEV. If you have an old Mac with 2GB or less RAM, or you want to run Windows 11 on a virtual machine, then Tiny11 is the best option for you. Here are some key advantages of Tiny Windows 11. It runs on 2GB or less RAM. It only takes up 8GB of disk space. No need for TMP 2.0 and secure boot. Not asking for a Microsoft account during installation, so you can create a local account for login. Excited? Let's install it on Mac. First, go to the Tiny11 download page, the link is in the video description. From the download option, click on the ISO image. Now you will see a couple of options. From here, you have to choose the ISO file, which has no system requirements mentioned. If you feel that the ISO file is downloading slowly, you can also download its torrent version. I have personally observed that Tiny11 downloads faster Viaduct Torrent. After downloading Windows 11, you should download Parallels Desktop 18, because Microsoft itself recommends Parallels Desktop for Windows 11 installation on M1, M2, and Intel Max. The link is in the video description. After installing Parallels Desktop on your Mac, open Parallels Desktop, and select the option to install Windows from an image file. Click on the Continue button. Now browse the Tiny11 ISO file from your Mac and open it. Click on the Continue button. Uncheck the Windows License Radio button and click on the Continue button. Because Windows 11 can run on less than 2 GB of RAM, so I will check the Customize Settings before Installation Radio button and click on Create button. Now click on the Hardware tab and choose 2 GB RAM, so our Mac OS and Windows 11 both run smoothly. You can also choose 4GB or 8GB here if your Mac has more RAM installed. Anyway close this window and click on Continue button. During installation, your mouse cursor may become a little slow or stutter. But don't worry, after installation everything will be normal. The installation process of Tiny11 is the same as Windows 11 and it's totally automatic so we skip this step. After installing Tiny11 you will notice one thing, that it's not running on your full screen, and that's because the Parallels desktop drivers haven't been installed yet. For that, click on this yellow icon and install them. Now restart your computer. And that's all. After restarting, you can enjoy Tiny11 on your Mac. So friends, this way you can enjoy Windows 11 on your Mac, using minimal RAM and processor. In my next video, I will show you how to install Tiny11 on your Mac via Bootcamp, so keep in touch. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe to our channel to watch more useful videos like this. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.